Well, hello everybody, um, and welcome to this World Hepatitis Day 2016 webinar. Um, my name is Raquel, I'm the CEO of the World Hepatitis Alliance, and with me today we have our communications manager, Tara Farrell. Um, thank you so much for joining. Um, let me just remind you before we start that uh, during this webinar, there are going to be two sessions um, where we're going to be addressing questions. But um, send them throughout um, if you do have any, any questions, any comments. There's going to be a functionality to uh, the right-hand side of your screen, and you can use that to uh, communicate with us. So without further ado, let me just see if I can. Oh, I don't think I have access to my, to my slides. Let me just try it one more time. Oh, there we go. So let me just go through the agenda very briefly. We're going to be having an overview of World of Nitrous Day 2016, um, moving on to discuss a little bit more um, on NOHEP, which is this global elimination movement we're going to be launching. As I mentioned, there's going to be time for questions. And then we're going to be presenting you with the materials. So we have a bunch of creative um, designs and, and posters, infographics for you to have a look at. And again, um, to interact with you in that um, final question session. So let me just officially start this webinar with, oh, and again, I don't think I have access for some bizarre reason. So if I can just ask, brilliant, thank you so much. Well, what's a webinar without technical issues? Mm -hmm. huh? um, never mind. So let me just start it by um, laying out the current environment very, very briefly and to explain the rationale for the theme of World Hepatitis Day 2016. So as you all know, last year we had a mention at the Sustainable Development Goals. And that was very, very big and important for us because finally we were addressed at the global level as you know, as a, the hepatitis, viral hepatitis was a priority there, right there, right then. And this year, at the end of actually this month, the, um, all of the member states from WHO were going to be discussing the adoption of this big key um, document called the Global Health Sector Strategy on Viral Hepatitis that we now call the Elimination Strategy for Viral Hepatitis because this document carries very important targets and looks at the elimination of viral hepatitis by 2030. Um, and the reason why it's so important is that if adopted, and again, we're talking about the end of this month, we can really see the whole hepatitis landscape changing. We're talking about really commitment from governments to really scale up interventions to address and combat viral hepatitis. So let me just try to move to the next slide. And if not, kindly request thank you. So because of that, we have um, been hearing, and again, this is the year for hepatitis, and be hearing, hearing the words elimination here and there. So we thought that's the perfect theme for World Hepatitis Day 2016. Um, not only because it's current, it's, it's pertinent, but also because it's very broad and you really it's mm. all encompassing in the sense that anyone out there and I'm, I'm talking about you our members advocates partners and supporters anyone wanting to do something um, to mark the day World Hepatitis Day it doesn't matter what you're doing what type of activity you're doing we know that it's going to help us in that path towards the elimination of viral hepatitis therefore it fits really nicely and we hope that you find that that's a really nice fit too. So as is the Alliance, we thought really hard on what kind of event we would put together to mark World Hepatitis Day 2016 or what kind of campaign. And after hearing the, um, our members, consulting with them, the community at large, and really, um, again, take into account all that's happening in the background, we thought that the best thing to do was to really address this gap in our environment, which is, and again, if I can just bring to the next slide, if that's okay. Let's see if I can do that. No. Sorry about that, the technical glitches there. But again, um, thank you for the organizer helping me there. 
but uh, launching this campaign called No HEP, this global elimination movement. Just before we go into that, let me just very briefly talk about two hashtags, World HEP Day and No HEP. So World HEP Day, again, the reason why we're pointing these hashtags there uh, right now is because we know how important it is to have that common set of hashtags when you're talking about social media. But um, we're going to get back to it in a minute. So let me just unveil now, or ask the organizer to please unveil the next slide where we talk about this elimination um, campaign and movement. So some of you already saw that. Um, for To some of you, this is the first time. But um, what we're trying to do, and what I mentioned that we had this gap, right, it's really, this is such a crucial year for hepatitis. We've been working so hard to get it to be recognized and addressed um, as seriously as, as, as it deserves. And what we missed, and we were missing, was a brand, an identity for the movement. So just to put it in uh, other terms, we needed something like what the red ribbon is to HIV, or what the color pink is to breast cancer. So there was a clear ask from the community to, for us to present something. And we thought, that's a brilliant idea. We agree we need something like that. And we're going to use World Hepatitis Day, which is that mark, the landmark that we have, the opportunity in the middle of the year to launch it. But before I talk too much, I think I've already done too much, mm -hmm. let me just ask um, Tara if you could um, perhaps give an overview to everybody about NoHep. Sure, thank you Raquel. Um, so NoHep is a global social justice movement aimed at really uniting the hepatitis community and beyond to engage, to speak out and basically take action to ensure viral hepatitis is eliminated by 2030. As Raquel alluded to, it's, a, it's an independent initiative which was really developed as a response to a strong call from the hepatitis community for something that is a little bigger, something bigger than an awareness day or an awareness month that advocates and supporters can get under and really can um, amplify their own activities. So the idea of a movement really building a platform where people and supporters alike can really get involved in to really pursue their own activities but come under this global banner. So what we, what we as the Alliance did, we reacted to this call and we developed the concept of no HEP. With a, with a global task force made of uh, World Hepatitis Alliance members, different agencies and, and input from um, civil society groups to develop this idea of no HEP as a concept. With the idea being that it will be developed and moved on with, and directed by the needs and the priorities of um, the hepatitis community and beyond. So it will be launched on World Hepatitis Day on the 28th of July and at the, uh, for the first point once it's launched it will be an interactive platform. So what, what you will see is that you'll be able to download materials, action kits on how to do this, you'll be able to upload um, information about your own activities and your own campaigns, you'll be able to share resources and you'll be able to connect with this broad community of activities. Because I think Raquel, you'll testify to this, we hear all the time of the amazing things that are happening out there, but they're often um, under-recognized and often that they don't receive the necessary recognition from different stakeholders, be it from policymakers, academics, healthcare professionals, or even the general public or the media. But what we're hoping to do on World Hepatitis Day is to launch this movement and really build a platform that will be able to amplify these activities and push the idea, uh, the push uh, hepatitis into the frame of consciousness. Like as Raquel said, breast cancer or HIV AIDS, it's a really, really about bringing it be beyond a single awareness day. So yes, yeah, so no I just add yep. to what you mentioned um, there, another thing that this will do is to that person that is perhaps in a village by, by themselves just printing a poster um, and to start a very small, perhaps local awareness campaign. Just by adding that logo, the no help uh, brand to it, it will, that person won't be alone anymore because that means that it has the backing of all of the community. So it, that's another thing that this, this, this will do to, to your campaign or other people's efforts. Exactly, exactly. And you know, what we wanted to become, we wanted to become a, like um, a one-stop shop that houses all the different activities across the board and the range of different stakeholders across the board 
so that people in different countries can understand what's going on, can share and learn from each other, and that really kind of builds up their own activities and campaigns. Sorry, I'm going to have technical issues now as well. <laughs> uh, um, I will say you are for a given. I'm very biased. <laughs> Um, so what does NoHev do? So, as I said, it's la launching on World Hepatitis Day with the objective that it will run until 2030. Um, the idea being that it will connect people, it will be an, a lobbying instrument. As Raquel said, it will provide that backing, that global advocacy backing. It will move beyond the hepatitis community and hopefully inspire people. We'll get into the frames of consciousness, into the mindset of, of um, the general public and inspire people to tell the stories of people living with viral hepatitis and being part of something bigger, be part of um, eliminating viral hepatitis, which is very unique. Um, the idea that it will mobilize supporters, it will bring people on board and it will campaign for, for a world where, um, where viral hepatitis is eliminated. So what we're hoping to do, and as I mentioned, we, I say we, but as I say, I talk about we as the community, are hoping to reach 300 million people by 2030 with the idea of really activating them and pushing this forward and um, ensuring that different stakeholders are doing their bit to uh, reach elimination. So on to the next one. Um, sorry now. Okay, we're still, ah, oh, there we go. So I mentioned a little bit about there about inspiration. And this is something that was really key to when we as a group came together to discuss what should no hep look like? What should the concept be? And there was a lot of there was a lot of input from different groups and different task force and focus groups. And what came across very clearly was that the human voice should be at front and center. And viral hepatitis elimination should be something that is very it's an inspirational target, aspirational but inspirational. And by being and by by eliminating it by 2030 is a massive achievement. So what we wanted to do with no hep was to really uh, launch it with a strong campaign, a campaign around RNA next greatest achievement and making elimination or elimination viral hepatitis our next greatest achievement. So what we thought and what we've worked with groups to understand is we need to have a strong call to action for people to join it and be part of it. So as I said, that can extend to the hepatitis community, to um, supporters, public, to even policymakers and government. And it really takes a fresh approach to campaigning. It moves away from the scaremongering tactics that oft you often see in other traditional health campaigns something that we feel is hopefully is broad enough that will encompass your own activities in it and I think we'll just I'll tell you a little bit more about that now why why you oh, move the slides oh, oh that okay. time was quick okay. I thought we were gonna have a lag there but I was just going to add that um, um, also with that campaign what we want to to do is um, and you touched on it is the accountability so mm -hmm. we wanted to monitor all of the, this this global elimination strategy with the targets. There are going to be targets for 2020. There are going to be targets for 2030. So this is an opportunity for us to see if the um, world is responding and addressing viral hepatitis. We can really celebrate the achievements, and if if it's not, then we can look at perhaps of what kind of challenges. Um, they're facing and why they're facing those challenges. So it's all like it, it's a very fluid campaign in that sense. So I just wanted to add that. But um, yeah. No. No, it's, you're dead right, Raquel, and that's something that's really important to say, and that's the reason why achievements came to the fore after all um, kind of processes. And the idea of that, you know, people living with viral hepatitis, people working in it, people who have, you know, families who are affected by it, etc. It's it's about, it's rather than focusing on, in on the illness as being um, the main issue and being like, well, it obviously changes lives, but being like an, a negative and focusing on the negative, but bringing out the positive and about being, about saying that you can actually live a life and you can eliminate by 2030. So it's about re really bringing that fresh, inspirational and positive note to the campaign. So just on that, um, so when we were developing the campaign and the idea of it, we obviously wanted to make it broad enough so that everybody can take part in it. And so what, and, and really make it fluid and make a change to their own campaigns and activities. So we developed a set of key messages around no HEP is right, no HEP is smart, no HEP is for all, 
and that will help our next greatest achievement. We wanted to focus on key issue areas that we defined as for the start of the campaign, which was around access, innovative financing, stigma and discrimination, and then obviously achievement. And then we looked at vaccination, testing, and treatment. Now these were messages that we've developed as we, we pinpointed as priorities for now. That's not to say that they won't change next year and the year after, so and so on and so forth, nor is it to say that they're the right messages for your organization. Mm -hmm. But what we wanted to do with this was to build out pillars that we could start really communicating under. So we can talk about right and access, we can talk about different access initiatives, and for all, and we can talk about stigma. And if we can talk in this way, and if we can use a set of common messaging pillars, we can again build up our voice and make it stronger through um, you know, collective talking about a certain situation. But then again, you know, no HEP, we, as, I, as we said, you know, we encourage you to use that and mold it to your own um, activities. Great. And I think um, what I'm going to do now uh, while we move to the next slide um, is to take some questions because I've seen that some were popping up already. Um, first one, and that's a, that's a very interesting one. Um, okay, so very interesting concept, but could you please give us a little bit of a more of a rationale around no help three circles green. <laughs> would you like to take that or would you like me to take that, Tara? You go for it, Kyle, because I know that you're, um, you're a strong advocate for I'm green. green now. Yeah. I, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't even actually uh, honestly thought about it. Maybe, maybe it was subconscious, but um, okay. So um, we obviously, we didn't just decide, we just, just pick up green because I like green or the circles, Tara like circles, but we actually had a whole process of engaging with the community and talking to them. But um, no help, I think, is self-explanatory, no help scientists. And we wanted something very brief. Um, the color green, we wanted something very fresh, something that was vibrant, again, to um, um, in basically take for, from what Tara said, that a change to a more inspirational campaign, positive tone of voice, and also to run away a little bit from some more of like what's considered to be clinical colors, like blue, for instance. Mm. Um, so a little bit fresher. And the circles, um, they were supposed to be ellipses to start with. So basically, what's a world without hepatitis going to look like? It was going to be like the dot, dot, dot. Mm, let me think about the world without hepatitis, mm -hmm. dot, dot, dot. But after we talked to um, um, a lot of people, the feedback that we got was that perhaps the ellipsis was not the best idea. But we did like the three circles so much, we kind of put them together. And as you can see, there is, um, again, I don't want to be talking to you, I'm not an expert on branding, but um, there is a movement of the colors. So from where we're starting now, 2016, and where we want to get 2016. So it gets a little bit um, different, the colors, as there's a slight progression there. But um, yeah, I mean, like, um, again, I'm not the expert that came up with that, but hopefully you like it. And again, this is something that we really want to push forward and want to see as everywhere we go, because I think it's by repetition that's going to get in people's, mm. uh, as, as you said, star consciousness and the back of people's heads. I mean, I've been wearing green for weeks now. I don't even, probably that's <laughs> why, um, without even thinking about it. But um, um, that's one of the questions. Now the question that came, um, maybe you want to take that one, Tara. Um, yeah. Is no help just for World Hepatitis Day? No, that's a really good question. Um, in short, no. It's not. It's a camp, It's a movement that will go, run until 2030. So as Raquel sa said before, it's going to track along with the WHO's global health sector strategy, uh, with the objective being the movement ends in 2030 and viral hepatitis is eliminated. Um, but why we're choosing to do it on, or to launch it on World Hepatitis Day is because World Hepatitis Day is a milestone in the hepatitis calendar. It's probably the biggest point of focus from across different stakeholders. Media are more attuned to it, st uh, policy makers have, have to recognize it, um, academics, etc. cetera. Um, so yeah, so why we decided to do it then was probably, well, was because it gives us the most chance to make a big splash around no HEP. But no, you, you can use it, you can use no HEP, you can do whatever you want with no HEP um, from the 28th of July up until 2030. Thank you. Uh, one last question, and I think then we might have to go to the next one, is um, who can get involved? Um, another short answer, 
everybody. <laughs> the, again, why or how we developed how we developed no help was to with the fr with front and center is that we want to make sure that this is a movement for everybody. We all know that the best movements are movements made out of people, not of materials, not of organizations. They are made up of out of people, and that's why we, for the very construct of what of what we want to do at no help is to build it to ensure that it will grow and that it will develop and that it will be fluid enough that it meets the needs and priorities of the people of the people of the supporters of different organizations so in short everybody and we want everybody to get involved with it great okay let me just move to the next slides because we talked about it but I think that this is the best way of really explaining is through the images so let me just give you a quick introduction to the World Hepatitis Day materials again to reflect this launch for the global campaign so if I could kindly ask the organizer just to move the slide, to advance the slide, um, that'd be great. Let's just see if it happens. There we go. Thank you. So as you can see, this is just a snapshot um, of what we have prepared for you. Um, and they will reflect those uh, messaging that um, that Tara alluded to. So we have posters, we have infographics, we have banners and postcards, a series of um, materials this year. They are all already available uh, in the World Hepatitis Day uh, website and as always uh, they are going to be um, translated and again as always because this is a World Hepatitis Day um, 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 event, um, we, uh, as we, we always provide these images can be customizable, can be edited. So if you think, oh, that's fantastic, but perhaps it's, it doesn't really reflect the reality of my country, um, then it, that's absolutely fine. You can actually change the text, you can change the images to make sure that it's, um, it's good and it, it's, uh, you, you can actually use, use it locally. So the next um, slide will show you um, a little bit more around the movement. So um, can I just um, go to the next slide, please? So not so much around the materials, but um, around um, design, what we call design collateral. So what we're going to be providing, so for instance, the um, t-shirts, the, the badges, because again, what we want this to, to, to become is this really big movement. And, for instance, the badge, as you know, on in December, because we have World AIDS Day, you see news anchors and high, you know, profile um, people and policymakers wearing badges uh, with the um, with the symbol. So we want the same for 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 hepatitis. We want that kind of of um, of importance attributed to this to this movement. So we are coming to you with a series of collaterals. Again, they're not prescriptive. So if you don't like them, that's fine. You can adapt them, but it's for you to use as, as you intend. Um, next slide, please. Rick, Raquel, before you go on there, sure. just just to reiterate, all the all the specs for the those designed collaterals can be found in the brand guidelines, which you can find on the World Hepatitis Day website. So um, you can check out everything there. Um, Great, thanks, Tara. Slide. Um, besides having the um, materials and resources and the designed collateral, we also um, have a couple of other things which you'd like to bring your attention to. Um, one being is the No Hep actual website. So the, the full website will go live on World Hepatitis Day, but we have a No Hep holding page live now. You can go to it at dot nohep.org. You'll find the link later. But um, what you can do here, you can just go on and you can sign up to NoHep and we really encourage you to do this because once you sign up you'll, you'll be connected and you'll receive materials and information um, in the lead up and after World Hepatitis Day and really this is the start of starting the movement so we really encourage you to go now sign up and maybe send a link to some of the people in your network to do the same um, another thing that we want to um, bring your attention to is an animated strategy video, so which doesn't say much. <laughs> but um, as we mentioned before, at the World Health Assembly at the end of the month, the um, Global Health Sector Strategy (WHO's Elimination Strategy) is, is expected to be adopted. And with that, you know, it, it has a lot of different targets and lots of different information there. But what we've done, we've taken that and we've actually distilled it into a very shareable infographic video. 
and the infographic video really is um, it's really a, a great resource to be shared amongst your networks, amongst different supporters, and even an advocacy lobbying tool, because it shows how what governments can do to reach um, the elimination by 2030. So keep an eye out for it. It will be subtitled. It will be available on the World Hepatitis Day website um, from the week commencing the 16th, so that's next week. And we really encourage you to share that in the lead up to the assembly and during the assembly, and really to, to create a bit of buzz around it as well. And then, on the 28th of July, we will be launching the official No Hep launch video. And this is a powerful piece of content that we, now I don't want to say it's viral, but it's a, so, a shareable resource. Um, and it's quite an interesting, exciting piece, um, yeah, a video. So really, it looks at the whole idea of 2030. And again, that will be shared in the, in the weeks up to... Um, World Hepatitis Day, and we encourage you to really use that and adapt it and, and see how you can use it within your own country and your own network. And then, um, as I mentioned, website and social media platforms will be available from the 28th of July. So we really encourage you to share pictures and download or, you know, sign up to them. And as Raquel said before, I said before, start using hashtag NoHep. So I'm going to move on to the next one. So yes, yeah, so there's some there's some of the key other ways to do it, and there, there's lots of different ways you can help support NoHep in the lead up to and afterwards. We have just pinpointed a couple of things you can do um, for now. Now, in the 2030, there's lots of lots of ways to be creative, and on the World Hepatitis Day website, we also have a toolkit, so you can download that as well to get more ideas. But just as a snapshot. Um, you know, sign up to the movement, as I mentioned. Add your World Hepatitis Day activities to the map of impact on the World Hepatitis Day website. It's a really important resource to show the, show the unity amongst the hepatitis community and show the breadth and strength of an awareness day. So it's always a really key way of keeping, um, keeping, keeping everybody connected. Um, you uh, use the NoHep logo on all your materials. That's another that's another key piece of uh, um, support that you can offer. The NoHep logo, as long as you're doing something in hepatitis, add it to it, and again, that'll add um, unity and strength to the cause. And as I, I mentioned, the other a, co a couple of other suggestions there. Raquel, do you have any other th any other key ways you'd say to how to support the movement around World Hepatitis Day? Or no, but I was going to add to your WHD map of impact and the importance around um, sharing your activities there. It's not only to show the world that we are a big movement and look at this, you know, populated, well populated map with all of those amazing activities taking place, but also to inspire some other members or groups, because some people do come to us with, oh, do you have any recommendations, do you have any ideas around testing, for instance. We're thinking about, obviously, we've, we've addressed that in, in previous webinars in the past, but um, we're looking to building a capacity hub, capacity building hub, like the Alliance, um, to put all of those uh, examples of um, uh, perhaps the best, best practice of good ideas. But for World Hepatitis Day, this is a great tool for you to have a look at what's happening um, around you in, in, in countries that perhaps are similar to yours and, and something that, and then you can connect to those organizations and perhaps ask them, oh, how did you do this? What are you planning on? How are you planning to attract media and create um, dialogue? So I just wanted to add that to, to what you've, you've mentioned, Tara. Great. Um, okay, um, and um, I was um, looking down because I was just writing up, uh, mm -hmm. oh, there's so many coming, um, and um, so let me just start, uh, start with, uh, with a couple. Is it okay to use the hashtag NoHep now, or do we have to wait to July 28th? Absolutely use it now. If you look at Raquel's uh, Twitter feed, you'll see the <laughs> same. Hashtag no hep, no hep, no hep. So yeah, um, we we're kind of soft launching the hashtag. We did it at the International Liver Congress. It went down a storm. We're really asking people, if you're tweeting about or Facebook posting about um, hepatitis, put in hashtag no hep now. So yes. Agreed and agreed. And um, again, no hep is not only for us, as Tara mentioned, this is for everybody. So for it, to, to, for us to launch it with a big bang, it would be great if we already had some movement. And if it's within the community, that's absolutely fine. But again, what we want to do with this movement, really, is to catapult awareness to a whole new level so that the general public gets it. 
So all of a sudden, people in the street are, are, are seeing those three dots and are looking at the color green and then perhaps start identifying that with hepatitis. That's what we really want, that kind of awareness. So yes, agree with Tara, hashtag no hep to the point of no return from, from now. Um, yes. I have another question, um, Tara. Um, please clarify the difference between the videos that WHO is producing. Perhaps there's some confusion around info, infographic one and, um, and the July 28th one. Would you like just to give a quick recap again, if that's okay? Yeah, sure. So, so this is the, these videos are resources. So the first one, which has been launched at the end of the month, the end of May, is one which focuses on the WHO's global health sector strategy, um, which is expected to be adopted. And it's a infographic video, i.e. it's um, animated video, which really takes the strategy and distills it into an easy shareable way of understanding it. It'll be easy to share it with different um, audiences and stakeholder groups. And then the second video will be a separate one. And this will be launched on World Hepatitis Day. And this is very much more about um, bringing in new audiences and creating greater awareness. So the objective of that will be sharing that with more general public rather than with um, stakeholders like policymakers. Yeah. So one is going to be more tech, just to add to that, perfect Tara, thank you. One is going to be more technical, again, around these, these targets in a very way, simple way to, 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 to explain it. Um, the other one, it's more of your viral, as you said, viral video that people look yeah. at it and go, oh my god, I really want to be involved with this, in this cause, or I want my friend to see this. Um, mm. So perfect, thank you. I have another question. Um, do I have to use the greatest achievement campaign? Oh, that's a very good question. That is a very good question. Um, absolutely not. Uh, why we why we developed the or why we decided to use the greatest achievement was to really kick off the no hep movement. And if you think of global campaign, but in terms of no hep, it's it can be used whatever way you want. So absolutely put your campaign underneath no hep. It doesn't have to be the greatest achievement. But we encourage you to use it if you like it. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> That's true. When we know, we know that it's, we, it's May now and a lot of you yeah. um, would have already planned your campaign so we don't expect you to stop everything and then start thinking about the next greatest achievement. Not at all. As Tara said, if you, if you want to do it, fantastic. If you don't, add that three, add no help to your existing campaign on World of Tides Day and that would be more than enough. We would really appreciate that because that means that you are uh, responding as the, like everybody else, you are supporting this, uh, but we Definitely. really don't want to inconvenience you or do, yeah. in, disrupt yeah. your plans or nothing like that. Um, one more question, how can countries with limited resources use the materials? That's another really good question, and something that came we came across a lot when we were developing this um, with different groups. And what we've done is to ensure that the that prov the resources that we provide are, are that transcend all different resource settings, resource service settings. So you can add the logo to your own materials. You can download a poster, or you can you can download a billboard. So it, it goes. we there's resources and materials there for all different types of organizations to get involved. Um, two more questions, and apologies, my head keeps going back. I'm just grabbing the <laughs> questions, writing it down. But um, what's next for no help after the launch uh, July 28th? So um, the first year of the campaign or of the movement will be about really creating awareness of the campaign and of no hep, and will be really about getting supporters on board. So that'll be kind of the main focus of no hep. From then, it will be really about the people, about the supporters. As I go back and say it again, this is a movement by the people for the people. It'll it will be directed by the priorities of the hepatitis community. So it's really really based on what the community needs. Once you sign up, you will receive lots of different information and different calls for activities on how to really shape the next, you know, five, ten years of the of the movement. So um, we will be we will obviously we will absolutely new resources and activities around achieving elimination of viral hepatitis. But from the overall, it will be very much directed by 
the activities of the hepatitis community. So that's why it's so important to make sure that you do sign up and get involved. Because here's a chance that we can come together from all different Um, and I'm just going to address, just so you, you know, you who asked the question know that um, uh, it's been up. So um, uh, uh, would there be issues using the platform for platform for hepatitis C only? So as you mentioned, no. not really. You can, even if you're doing hepatitis C only or hepatitis B only or yeah. harm reduction, whatever touches via hepatitis, this is applicable to it. It's just to give you that, that weight, that, uh, that um, recognition. This is a, 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 a basically a global movement. Again, think about, and I keep saying that because even for me in the beginning it was a little bit difficult to, uh, to understand and assimilate and I, that's why the comparison with the red ribbon for HIV in a way. But um, it really doesn't matter what you're doing. So what kind of area? If it's around viral hepatitis, as Tara said, harm reduction, access to treatment is, is, is one, or hepatitis C only, co-infection, or type of activity. So awareness raising or advocacy or even fundraising. We're, we're providing is the platform for you to really um, do this under, so it strengthen your efforts. Um, I don't know if you want to add to that, but um, just to address um, another question that came. Raquel, can I just jump in there because it's such an important question and an important topic that we want to get across as well. Um, you know, we've heard from different organizations um, feedback saying, well, if we join no HEP, will our identity be diminished? Will, what if, you know, what if we, we're, you know, we're focused on hepatitis B, but if we go into no HEP, will, will we just be like become, you know, as I said, diminished or we won't get the, the identity that we want to profile? And what we want to say is that n the way that the no HEP platform is being developed it's it's not it's it's not going to put put different category or people into di or different organizations to each category. It's one cause that will you know solidify all the different activities coming out of viral hepatitis, so that each organization doesn't say what about Hep B, what about harm reduction, what about it should all be coming together for, with one voice because that's the only way that we as a community can push forward and make sure that, that you know, governments hold these targets, are accountable to these targets, that, you know, um, healthcare professions are understanding and that the, the um, general public understand and are aware of hepatitis. Mm -hmm. It's so important that we come with one voice and that's why, um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, bring that up. I just have a, perhaps one more question before we, 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 we move because I'm wary of, of time a little bit. but um, uh, needs clarification. Do we have to wait until July 28th to use the materials with no HEP logo? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, no, that's good. Um, thank you for pointing that out. So, the hashtag no HEP we can use from, I mean, again, I've been using since we started it, even before, but um, do you have any, any comments on the materials, Tara, on the using, if a group wants to use a material right now because they are available on our website um, before July 28th, can they? I think, yeah, I think if you, if you feel like you want to use them, absolutely use them. What we would, what we would recommend to you, if you were doing, um, if you were talking to the media, for example, on World Hepatitis Day, send through the infographic with it or, you know, print out the posters for a World Hepatitis Day event. But if you want to use it on social media and create a buzz in the lead up to, absolutely. The more, the, the more awareness, the better. Great. Um, and... Uh, I think, I don't know, we ha I still have a lot of questions, but uh, perhaps one more, one more, one more. But um, again, on the languages, um, clarify the translations um, and the languages, please. So, 
as you all know, I'm, and um, Tara, apologize, I'm just taking that one just because of the timing as well. Uh, but um, we, as the Alliance, we translate our materials to um, all of the WHO languages and Portuguese. So these are going to be translated to those. Now, again, if you, for some reason, your language is not one of the ones used um, by WHO or by us, then that's absolutely fine. You can um, translate yourselves to, to it and use our customizable tool. So you can not only um, add your own images if you don't feel uh, that images necessarily doesn't necessarily uh, apply to us, choose your own image, but choose the text in your own language as well. Yeah. All right. So let me just move to the last slide with a couple of links. Um, or oh, perhaps um, oh, there you go. Um, with a couple of links to note before we conclude the webinar today. So. Uh, we've been mentioning the NoHep website, so that's the, the address there, www.nohep.org. The Twitter and Instagram um, uh, handles are there for you to, to see as well, hashtag NoHep as we mentioned, and at NoHep. Um, we're also going to have a Facebook account. Now, all of these websites and the social media platforms are going to be live uh, from July 28th, right Tara? Yeah, right. So from July 28th, um, but uh, as we mentioned, you can make the noise, you know, from now on. And um, another thing to point out, just before I conclude the webinar um, around World of Titus Day uh, this year, is that um, all of these materials, again, can be um, found in our website. And not only that, we have a document, um, a toolkit that really provides ideas and a little bit more in-depth information around um, World Hepatitis Day, NoHep, why we are again uh, using World Hepatitis Day to launch NoHep to everybody. Um, and you can find this, this toolkit in our website as well. And just to finalize, um, I just wanted to mention that what again what we want to do with NoHep is, and at the risk of really sounding cheesy, um, but um, we want to make sure that from July 28th this year, right, almost every day is now World Hepatitis Day. So July 28th is World Hepatitis Day. We're using it to launch NoHep. And when it's launched, then it's a platform that runs to 2030. So every day is a day to do something about hepatitis. So it's not that you can you know, wait to next World Hepatitis Day to do any campaign. Whatever you're running, you can add those three circles, the green, to it, and hopefully we will just gather strength and and we we'll just um you know su succeed even more. Um, but I can, any final words from you, Tara, perhaps before I I close the the webinar. No, just to say that we really look forward to hearing about your World Hepatitis Day activities. If you need to, if you need information, more information on this, if you'd like to explore different opportunities of collaboration, get in touch with us because, you know, we all, we already need to come together to make this a great success. Thank you, and thank you, everybody. I think that's the end of our webinar. This is going to be um, this recording is going to be uh, made available from tomorrow. So. If any colleagues um, perhaps couldn't uh, attend, or if you feel that this, this was useful and you want to forward to anyone, uh, we're going to be making uh, the link available for you. But I think for now, uh, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you find it useful, and don't hesitate to contact us if there are any more questions. Thank you. Thank you.